Hi everyone, Oksanza here again, and this is the video where I show how to take these elements and create a whole pattern collection. Please check out part 1 of this video series about how to create the elements. This is part 2 and we are going to be creating a whole pattern collection. And the first step, we are going to create the main repeat pattern with my potted uh, succulent plants. So I'm going to create, take all the elements and start placing them in a repeat scattered manner on the, within my symbol, uh, which then will repeat itself. So I am just checking how everything's going and then placing all the elements uh, on the artboard so that they will repeat and just tweaking a little bit and let's see how it all worked out. So um, I'm just adding a little bit more of a geometric uh, elements and some um, little triangles and circles to make it a little bit more fun. And though basically this is it. This is the pattern. And now I'm going to use the script Magic Eraser to um, cut it 600 by 600. So this is the perfect repeat tile. And I'm testing it this way, making a big circle. And everything looks good. All right, we have the main pattern. Now it's time to create some uh, coordinating patterns that will match the main pattern and enhance it in the collection and while, when they are used on the products you can mix and match and create interesting effects uh, when displaying the products in the collection. So uh, I decided first to do this little scallop pattern and I'm using the semicircles in the uh, stripes and I'm just uh, using the blend tool to create the repeating stripes of the scallop pattern and I'm cutting out the tile and I'm going to um, use the same script magic eraser to create the perfect repeating uh, tile of this pattern and I give it some color based on my color palette that I chose for my main uh, pattern. Okay, it's time to do the second repeat. It's going to be also a simple geometric repeat, a little bit more of a uh, interesting color scheme and I'm going to first do a black and white shapes based on the main pattern and then I'm going to color it uh, adding some blues and greens from the main pattern. And now we have uh, all three matching patterns and it's time for number four. I'm going to use these uh, succulent shapes without pots and I'm going to make a little scattered growing succulent garden uh, texture to go with our main patterns and the matching patterns number four and okay let's do a border. So this, the borders are also very useful in the product design and um, to do for example the uh, packaging the and the bottom of the dress or shirt and the, the sleeves and uh, many many things you can think of for example a uh, kitchen towel with a little border so they are very useful too so in this case i'm going to do a, a line of growing succulents without pots as a border so here we have a little collection uh, starting to form and now I'm going to do a darker shade repeat based on the same color scheme that I chose for the first main pattern. I'm going to use the blend tool and then adjust the positions of my little succulent lines uh, to create a little bit more of a varied uh, texture. So here it is, I'm going to adjust a little bit more and uh, cut out using the same script, very useful script. We have pattern number five and the last one that I chose to do is going to be a little bit of an of abstract succulent uh, shape based on one of the succulents that I really like, the striped one. And we are going to make the light green pattern. So again, cutting it out 
and I'm going to test it if everything works well, seems to be working well and adjust the colors just a little bit to match uh, the uh, tone of my collection that I'm envisioning and adjust the border. So here we have our finished collection and just a few tiny tweaks and this is it. We have six patterns and two borders. In my uh, part three of this series, I'm going to be creating a placement print and the mock-ups for these patterns. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos about uh, pattern design. Grow, love and create. Bye!